Welcome everybody inside the anatomy lab. This is going to be an extensive series about the muscles of the shoulder girdle. You will learn about their functions and how they cooperate to realize movements as units. In the end there's always a short exercise that you are welcome to complete. So you're not only seeing but you will also feel and therefore internalize this knowledge way more efficiently. The first part is about shoulder elevation. In order to elevate the shoulder like you see it on the screen, the body uses two muscles, the trapezius and the levator scapulae. The trapezius does all the heavy lifting or most of it. It is subdivided in three parts due to its fiber orientation. Here you see the ascending part where the fibers point towards the scapula. Now there's the transversal part where the fibers point towards the spine. And the last one, the important one for this issue, is the descending part where the fibers go from neck to the shoulder. So think about the descending part when you think about shoulder elevation. It's quite simple, you just consider insertion and origin and then you shorten the distance due to muscle contraction and you have a shoulder raise. I think this is everything we need to know for this muscle. Okay, let's move on to the second one, the assistor, the levato scapula. It originates from the top four vertebrae and runs all the way down to the medial top of the scapula. And as you're going to see, we're going to apply the same principle. We consider origin and insertion and then just simply have the muscle contract and there we have it, a shoulder raise. So just note how this is on the other side, so to speak, of the trapezius and helps and assists the trapezius to lift up the shoulder blade. So let's now do a little exercise. Just start raising your shoulders up and down and try to feel inside. Maybe you want to pay more focus to the trapezius or the levator scapula and also try to feel their insertions, how they pull inside of your bones when you contract them. Once you have everything down and you get a concept and a mental image, just start to play around with this. And you know, there's really no limit in the things you can do. You can play around with how much you can tracting, how fast you release the muscle. You can even try to isolate the muscles, just lift with the levator scapula, or just try to use your trapezius. It's not going to work quite literally but it will help you build your mental image of the muscle group we are talking about. Maybe you can also try this when you're walking down the streets in the next couple of days and it's going to be impossible for you to forget this ever again. So I think for now we have everything covered. I hope you enjoyed this and I see you soon in one of my next videos. Have a good one, Alex.